Spanish architect and he graduated the Escuela Técnica Superior de Arquitectura de Madrid. From 1991 to 1993 he was director of the magazine Architecture Coam. And from 1995 to 2001, he was manager and editor of Bau magazine. Currently, he leads the Master Smart Cities Management at the European University of Madrid. Uh, Fernando is co-founder of also of Porras La Casta Arquitectos uh, practice and among other projects uh, the firm was co-author and project partner of Madrid Rio in the Manzanares River in Madrid. The project, the well-known project actually, can be considered the most important public work carried out in Madrid in the last decades and probably one of the most uh, ambitious public projects built in Europe in recent years. Uh, uh, this project also um, has been recently awarded by, um, with the 2015 Veronica Raj Green Prize in Urban Design from the Harvard Graduate uh, School of Design. Um, his firm is currently involved in several projects in China, as he, we were talking before during the uh, lunch break. And well, thank you, uh, for, um, Fernando, for being here. And um, th th I leave you <laughs> the stage. <laughs> thank you, Sarah. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, Manuel, for this surprising invitation. Thank you, all the staff of this uh, symposium, Georgia and uh, Luca, Anna. Everybody, thank you, the staff. Well, I, I, I only want to speak about one work of our practice uh, that is related with many things that we have heard today uh, here. We have heard about re resilience, uh, public space, uh, infrastructures. Um, the project uh, that I, have, uh, I am going to, to show is Madrid Rio. It's a project we, we started in 2005 and we uh, finished, the main part was finished in 2011, but uh, we have been working after th that year and today we are uh, also working in, in that place. It's, the, it's a very, very huge place in, in Madrid, in the center, and it's related with the, the resilience of the landscape, resilience of the geography. For us, uh, architecture and geography are very, very close uh, and intimate uh, related, and we would like to be geographers, but we are architects. Okay, this is the place where, where the project is. And uh, this is the province of Madrid, and for me, uh, this, this is a very interesting and meaning uh, slide, because it's speaking about uh, erosion of the soil. And these, uh, these footprints on, on the geography, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the earth, as uh, we have seen, uh, heard before, are for us the, the clues for, for working. And we made the, these little schemes about the hydrology, hydrology of, of Madrid because um, we worked uh, along a river. A little, a very thin and little river uh, and Mediterranean, which is almost dry in summer and is almost flood in in spring, where when the snow of the mountains is melted. We can we can here see this system is very clear. This is the Tax, Tagus River going from from Madrid and Toledo to Lisbon. This is the these are the mountains in the north. And all this is the system of rivers, little creeks and rivers running from the north to the south. And Madrid is here. Madrid is, very, is quite modern city. It's not uh, an ancient city. It's not from the Roman period. It's, it's from the Aram pre period. And actually, it's not a city wo which was born to, to live. It's, it was born to defend the territory by the Arabs. They built a fortress here, on the top of a hill, near the river. This change in an impredictable river. This is the first draw, drawing we know about Madrid. It's made by a Dutch painter, it's now in, in Vienna. And we can see here clearly this thin line, which is the river. We can compare here the, the little river with the big bridge. And we can see clearly how the city is going in the opposite direction, protected by the, by the walls. 
I, I, I would like to, to go fast. This is a, some images about the, the growth of the city, always growing in the opposite direction from the river. This is a scheme that shows how the, the, the city is growing in that direction from the west to, this, to the east, and how it's a succession of different walls. The first wall was demolished, the second wall was demolished, the, the, the fifth wall remains for 200 years. It's not a wall to defend the city, but it's a wall to defend the finances. It's a wall for the taxes. And we can hear the city after the demolition of, the, of that wall. The city was completely constrained, it's closed. Now the, the wall was demolished, but the city has this shape because of the wall. And the river was in other place, not this river, this river but it's, it's a dangerous place in some sense. This is the first plan of Madrid. You can see here clearly the, the footprint of the wall and the new extension made with a grid almost like Barcelona, not so beautiful. And this is the, the melt of both images, the ancient, the ancient city and the new city. This new city, this new, new extension uh, takes more than 60 years. And with this extension, the river was also almost hidden it's a, it's a footprint, but it's not a new structure for the, for the growth of the city. This is one picture about, one plan about uh, 1090, the, the first year of the, of the 20th century. And, it's the, and it, this is the river. This is the river. This is one photograph of the beginning of the century, 20th century. You can see here the river as a strange place this is children, poor children, and poor, poor houses. This is a very dangerous place. You can, you can see here that this, this man is a clochard, probably, and the city growing in the opposite direction. And this structure of rivers remains uh, during, the, during the, the, the time. This is the first work of canalization. This is the first time that the river was a canal in the beginning of the 20th century. And this is the, for me, the main draw of the new plan of the city in, the, in 1940. After this plan we have shown uh, with the grid, this, this was the, the second plan for Madrid, and this one was one of the main ideological prints that the architect who, who was responsible for the urban planning uh, drawn. Because he wants to recover this structure of rivers and creeks, you can see here, this was a creek, this, was, this is Castellana, here's the Real Madrid Stadium now, but it was all a creek also, and the Manzanar River, this humble river, which here is a new structure, there is a kind of illusion here to make some, something different in the city. But it, it, not, it, it, was, it wasn't built because the river was reserved to be a new infrastructure for the cars. And the river disappeared because this land, very cheap, was clearly invaded for the, with, the, with the infrastructures. So the river was completely, completely hidden. You can see here, for example, this bridge completely cut by the new highway. And how the river was a, a great infrastructure, the worst, the, the worst infrastructure we can, we can have there. But uh, for political reasons, uh, the mayor of Madrid in 2005 decided to bury this stretch of the highway in order to recover this structure, this green structure, this structure of water that, that runs in the west side of the city. This is one of the plans 
of the engineers. Really, actually, this is not made by engineers, it's made by us. In order to understand the work of the new tunnels that goes along the river during three years in this incredible and amazing works, this dance of machines and workers. During three years, the, the highway was buried and disappeared. And this is the, the, our mayor in the happiest day of his life, op opening the, the tunnels. So this stretch of, of highway disappeared and appeared this, this void, which, which is not really a void. It's, it's a footprint of the past, a footprint of this kind of water infrastructure. And this is the beginning of our work. We, we decide to make the competition that was, was, was held to run along the whole river. And we discovered that in more, less than 70 kilometers, there is a very, very variable biotopics with many different circumstances which represent almost the geography of the whole country of Spain, from the snow of the mountains to the desert in the, in the mouth of the river. So we, we won the competition basically because we speak about the whole river, not only the stretch of the river in the city. We made some master plan, but for us the main thing was to link again the green areas from the north and the south of Madrid, which was cut by the city. So the river was the new gate to make a new network which relate extraordinary valuable areas of green. And also we developed many actions for the next 15 years in order to make the river a new structure we, which is connecting everything in, the, in every direction. So, uh, for explaining the, the result, I, will, I will show more, more images, without, almost without uh, words. But I would, would like to say that this is a public space without um, private profit. We have shown before uh, the Highland in New York or the, um, the new green areas over the Boston, the Boston dig, the, dig of, of the big dig of Boston. But the, instead of that project, in this case, the result is completely public. And uh, I think it shows that the resilience of the, of the, of the landscape is stronger than every other action of the mankind we can we can do that so we we will see the let's see the, the different scapes we discover in our work for us to work there is more than 120 hectares it's a very huge project we must uh, we must work for more than 5 years making more than 93 pro little projects in order to develop the whole thing but, but we have we had the sensation that we we haven't we had nothing. We only discover the clues and the footprints we 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 had there, like a real resilience landscape against the city. So I will describe very very fast. This is one of the first landscape. I will sh I will show six landscape of the of this of this project which are the result as a big park, a public park. First of, of them, this is the Salon de Pinos, it's a strip, it's the structure, the green structure we, we put there in the, in the right side of the river, with only with, with a material, which is vegetation. We must remember we are working on top of a tunnel. So we are making an architectural action but completely artificial, but uh, made by natural elements and, and materials. 
mainly vegetation. So we found the pine, which is the, the, the tree we, mm, that could uh, grow on a rock, so can grow also on a tunnel, and which is the, the tree we, have, we can find in our mountains. So for us, the mountains are coming from, from the top and running along the, along the city in order to link every space we have uh, arranged. For us, the pines must be wild, of course, not a garden pine, but a wild or forest pine. This uh, was a very, very sophisticated technology because of this reason that we were on top of a tunnel and, and these trees are now growing in a very fast, fast way because they are, they are planted as in a hospital with many special care and system of irrigation, uh, nutrients and everything. And they need to be, f to be fixed to the structure without make any damage of the, of the structure. So it's um, uh, more than 70, 17 layers of different technology, technology solutions in order to make the, 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 the trees grow. This is the, the, our, our render, and this is the reality. I am very happy because I am showing our project with already done. So it's not a theory, it's a reality. OK, we, you, can, you can say here this structure, more than, more than seven kilometers of, of, of pines. Sarah has shown me a, OK. The second landscape we, we discovered there is the way we need to find Lisbon, to find Portugal, and we built that, that new boulevard with the material we can find in our travel and our trip to Portugal. So cherry trees, cork, paving of Lisbon in the Lisbon way, made a new filter between the city and the, and the park. The third part is the new connection between the center of the city and the historical um, area of Casa de Campo. It's a, it's a hunting park of the king, now it's, it's public. And we made a new link between every historical elements there. This is the new entrance, in the new entrance for the, only for pedestrians. This, as the, in, the, in the last slides, we, we can see the difference between the after and the before. The idea we, here was to, to, to make a new gate which links this huge park, hunting park, with the, with the city. Very near, very close to the royal palace. This is a bridge from the 16th century. And here is another little spot. Is the center is the belly bottom of the project, which is again another bridge, historical bridge, from the 18th century. We here made a joke, making a new, a new pattern, a baroque pattern, which is speaking with the baroque bridge. The bridge is the place to to look at, but also the. The garden is the place to look at the bridge. This is the biggest part of the project. It's a park. It's a very linear park, about two kilometers. And here, for us, the, the idea was clear. We have there, we had there the opportunity to reproduce in some sense the behavior of this river which is changing every, every day. So we decide to, to work with uh, lines which are crossing, with our, with our making different kind of things. Some paths are going down and, and, and going up. The other parts are very, very flat. And in the middle are back, backs of, of, of activities. The vegetation also here is very important. We 
use only the, uh, autochton, autochton vegetation. The water here is understood as uh, places which has water only for a, f for a f while. The water appears and disappears. Different activities in the park. And this is a clear slide which shows this character of the river. We find the river is, is, not, uh, is not only the, the line of water, it's all this wet footprint in the, in the, in the territory. The paths, the vegetation, crossing between them, making activities. I like to go to so fast. Sports. Finally, uh, this is a, the former slaughterhouse, which is now a cultural center, the, the, the biggest cultural center in Madrid, and we did there uh, all the um, all the urbanization and the equipment of the floor. And we built also a little building for the installations of all the complex. But for us, this cultural center is another part of the park. It's like a pavilion or different pavilions which are making things for the use of the park. On top of this field, we uh, uh, we put uh, some several systems. One, the first for us, very important, was uh, the system of playground for children. Again, the clues and the footprints are in the nature, in the mountains of Madrid, and there we found the way to make our own playgrounds. The second material, I, I, I have spoken about vegetation as a material, as the main material. The second material is the granite. Granite is the, the, the rock uh, which is the material of the mountains of Madrid. And every building, little building, every installation, every ventilation shaft, every emergency, emergency exit from the tunnels are made in granite. So a new language, homogeneous, makes some uh, unitary aspect to, to the whole. At the same time, the, the bridges system, the restoration of the dams, because this river is completely artificial now. It's a succession of dams as foot bridges, or the recycling of some bridges of the highway. New bridges only for making functional links or singular bridges which express special movements of the of the pedestrians in the in the city. Oh this is this is a bridge which is a space and uh, in this case we worked with an artist in, uh, in order to make this room it's not only a bridge, it's not only to cross, it's to stay there. Okay, I'm finishing. Sarah, I'm finishing. Only to show the before and after. Something happened. No, I don't know. This is the last slide. Thank you.